Our guest, Cavador, just spilled his guts. Not literally. It wasn't necessary. Cavador was instructed to deliver two sorts of artifacts. Brass masks and... Those slave masks on Karras' servants? And some sort of agricultural device called a cultivator. Thirty of each. Each? So they're connected. We have to assume so. Unfortunately, our efforts to secure a mask have been... Uh, frustrated. Hmm. Listen, I think I know where we can lay our hands on one of those masks. There's a collector named Bram Gervasius with an interest in masks and headdresses. Last time I was down in the Lost City, he had a commission out for that sort of thing. Gervasius? I've had an agent on his case, and apparently the mechanists have been making overtures. Three guesses why. What can your agent give me on his house? Gervasius is planning an exhibition. He's bringing his collection with him from his summer home. The private exhibit areas are on the top floor. Access is by elevator, controlled from the top floor. It's almost airtight. Almost? There's talk of a secret passage. Unfortunately, its location remains secret. Then I'll need to find it. Now. We can't afford any delays later when the masks arrive. Karras is holed up inside the Mechanist Cathedral, and it looks like whatever he's up to, we're running out of time. Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbear. Welcome to what is generally considered the low point of Thief 2. It's not that the map is poor. It's simply the fact that I'll have to play through it twice. Or a total of four times for this LP, so I'm going to be intimately familiar with this man's mansion by the end of this. There's also the fact that we're doing this to get a hold of a mask. And we're getting a hold of a mask mainly to get some of that rust gas. Which, as you might recall from a couple of levels ago, we already have. So there's that question of what is the point of this exactly? Right, well you might have also noticed that I cannot be spotted by anyone. That's a degree harder even than uh, when I was playing framed. There's really only so much I can take. I mean, if I use a flash bomb, it's already too late. Right there you have the main source of income for this particular mission. Coins are everywhere. Looks like the entrance is guarded, so I can't go through there. Fortunately, if I can just get up this stupid thing, <laughs> there are alternatives. Nice chapel here. Ah, flashbang, just what I needed. said, there are a lot of these coins hidden about the level. A couple of stacks, a few candlesticks here and there. But for the most part, this level is a hunt for coins, 
and for hidden switches. Lots of these odd little closets everywhere too. There's the map, such as it is. You see, much like in the last couple of levels, Garrett is essentially penning the map himself as we go. And I don't know if you noticed, but that was another one of the items on the objective list is that we have to map out at least half of the mansion. And to do that we have to explore at least half of the mansion. Be careful about those watchers. Obvious switch here. Ah, that one closes both then. Looks like this place is being converted into a workshop. So over here, we have the watcher controls. The other two levers, if I close the contacts, will turn on the turrets, regardless of whether the watchers see me or not. So as you can imagine, you really shouldn't do that. But with the watchers off, we can't afford to explore the hallways more completely. Just so long as those guards are out of the way. Uh, yeah, there's two of them. That's never good. Looks like this one's got a purse too. All the guards around here are pretty well paid. They're as crazy good as the mechanists back at KD were, though. This didn't look like this, this morning. I suppose not, but you wouldn't have needed the lights on in the morning. Well, maybe you would have. There's surprisingly little natural light access in these hallways. why we needed the secret passage in. He 
he's always watching. Ah, storage. I'm sure Gervasius has lots of things down here that he'll never miss. At least not until it's too late. I've actually got to be careful up here. Behind one of those two doors are some surprisingly alert guards. And I wouldn't want to disturb them over much. You're allowed to get their alert level actually pretty high before it's too late, but if they spot you, then it's game over on this level. As such, the failure reel for this level is going to be surprisingly dull, I think. Doesn't look like there's anyone coming. But I need to be certain. Looks like this leads into the central ballroom area. That's where the main exhibit's going to go. Shit. Well, at least one good thing about coming in before the event for once is that the guards are much less aware than they usually are. Ah, I knew there was one around here somewhere. Now I just gotta hope there's nobody over that way. Now I can get over this way. burdensome preparation of the mansion hath been for me, Steward Duma hath charged me with leading the construction in the ballroom, which goeth ever so slowly. He hath even demanded that all the clocks and other mechanist devices in the manor be inspected and repaired if there be faults found. Thy masters wish everything perfect for their celebration two weeks hence. Twas such a great task that in my haste I have misplaced my toolbox, which contained a part from one of the clocks. So we have a clock that doesn't tell time. Won't be the first time in this place. I'm still amazed you got all the metal eyes working. No, thou dost not understand. Tis that clock. <laughs> well then, you better get looking and find that piece before Lord Gervasius gets back. He'll have your head otherwise. Good luck, Foreman Hobart. I heard that. Stop right. Uh oh. Well, that talk about a clock sounded pretty interesting. 
Now, if only I can avoid any reprisals. It's not going to be easy. I need a better hiding spot. Hopefully this will be enough. This isn't right. Yeah, there they are. Just make one little no. What's going on? Who's done this? Oh well, it must have been nothing. I'll find you. Believe me, I will. See you in part two.